couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome creative fingerstyle guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which we're gonna enhance your guitar skills, your fingerstyle prowess while making actual music. Okay, I wanted to tune the sixth string down to D, okay, because we're gonna have adventures in drop D tuning. Okay, we're not gonna play anything that you might be used to. I want us to get completely outside our comfort zone and we're all used to playing stuff like Okay, like uh, country blues uh, open D sound, but um, I want us to play drop D okay, in D minor. I want us to experiment with the dark sound. Okay, with um, outside sounds. Okay, get outside the comfort zone, refresh the ear a little bit, think a little bit differently about drop D and what you can do with it. Okay, because okay, you can do really, you can create magic with drop D. And my goal, my personal goal here is for you to play it, once you get used to it, to play it with, uh, with friends, with family, and then I want I wanted to reach the point where people ask you what open tuning it is, okay? What alternate tuning you're using, so you can smile and say, "Hey, dude, it's just it's just drop D." What you're talking about? It's not an open tuning. I want us to sound like an open tuning, okay? So the way to do that is to play D minor like this. We're gonna focus on strings two, three, and four. Okay, we're gonna focus on strings B, G, and D. Those are gonna be our chord shape uh, strings. So D minor, okay? We're used to this D minor. So we're gonna take the F note and play this F note, three on the fourth, okay, on the D string. So we're gonna play three, two, three on strings two, three, and four. Okay, you start with this. And if you play the first string, you add the nine to it. So it's D minor nine, okay? But I don't want you to play D minor nine yet. I want you to play this, okay? Now, right off the bat, you can take this chord and play it on 10. You can play 10, nine, 10. Now, now this is A minor, actually. So if you play the A bass, you're gonna get an A minor. Chord, but I want you to keep playing the D bass so it becomes weird okay but I'm jumping a little bit ahead of myself the next chord would be okay, a diminished sort of chord which is 5-3-5 five, five on strings 2, 3 and 4 okay 5-3-5 five, gonna jump ahead a little bit again to the high strings and another D minor variation would be this 10 and 10 on strings 2 and 3 okay you can add 10 on the D string but I don't want you to because this becomes D minor 7 and D minor 7 is a nice sound and I don't want you to do that Instead, I want you to play 9 on the D string to get that outside sound, okay, that augmented sound, okay, that was my mistake, okay, and you can also play 8 on the, the D string. And you can always go back to this D minor. music, try to feel it. Okay? This is still open D. 
Uh, not open D, drop D. This is not open D, this is drop D. Our good old, our good old drop D tuning. Okay, now, the next chord we can play is this. Okay, we can play a D minor 7 chord here on 6, 5, 7 on strings 2, 3, and 4. Now, if we do this, and we add the open E string, it becomes a little bit weird, which is nice, which is what we want. Okay, but we can add that 8 on the D string as well. Now, if this, sounds, if this sounds too nice to you, you can just play an A minor shape, okay, on strings 2, 3, and 4, okay, 6, 7, and 7, and then play around with the 8 on the D string. But let's go back to the previous one. Now take it down one fret. You know why it sounds like this? Because now it's E major. Now it's E major over D. So this is E major. Yeah, you see? This is E major. Okay? I'm just playing E on the bass. Okay, two on the sixth string. But if we do it with D and even with A. Then we get the strange sound. But if we want a nice sound, just go back to 7 on the D string. And then you have 5, 4, 7 on strings 2, 3, and 4. And then you go back. But we straight a little bit from the we straight a little bit from this sound. So how do you go back to it? You can play this. Instead of playing a normal A minor shape, instead of 6-7-7, seven, seven, you can play 6-6-7. Six, six, and then you get the augmented sound again. Okay, you can use it with A. Okay? And then it resolves really nicely back to D minor. So it's 6-6-8 six, six, or 6-6-7. Six, six, play 12 on the E string. You can play 10. Okay, these are all shapes we've played before. I'm just going down the guitar with all the shapes. D minor chord with the open second string. Then you get D minor six. And if you play the open second string with the rest of the chord shapes, it sounds really weird. Just demands to be resolved. Five and five on strings two and three, just following a hunch. Five and five, and then five and th uh, five and four, five and three, and then I went back to D minor, just following a hunch. Okay, now if we had E major here, we can play E major here. 
we can play 9-9 nine, nine, and 9. We can play 8-8 eight, eight, and 8. We can add 5. Yeah, but this is a little bit too much. Okay, so... Of course, you can play 3, 2, 1, 0 on the D string because it's D. to figure out here there's a lot to find a lot more to find I'm just giving you a primer so you can take this and make this your own and just explore D minor and then drop D in a drop D setting okay so that's the exercise get out of your comfort zone forget everything you're used to about drop D uh, I keep wanting to say open D because it sounds like open D minor but it's not it's just drop D okay so you can change into major if you like um, and then go back to minor Okay, just move the D shape around from 2 to 5 to 7 to even to 9. And then back to D minor. Okay, let me try. Always powerful when you go back to that D minor chord that we started with. So it's a it's a really good hook to to just latch onto and uh, have as your safety chord, uh, safety resolve. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are hundreds of free lessons here for your free guitar education. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy. Enjoy, explore, and enjoy. Bye.